Hey everybody, so today's video is going to be my weekly wax meltdown. I think we are in what the third week of May. Um, I have gone back to my part-time job, so I will not continue these on a weekly basis. So my next video for empties, I will post at the end of May, just so you guys are aware. But this is everything that I got through for um, this previous week here. So the first items I have here are a couple of soaps. This first one is pumpkin cupcake. This is baked pumpkin with vanilla frosting and golden honey. Um, oh, it's of course a Bath and Body Works gentle foaming hand soap. This I absolutely love. I love the scent in candle form. I love it in um, soap form. It's a really nice pumpkin cupcake, not a ton of spiciness. Just um, a creamy, nice bakery pumpkin with a nice cupcake scent on it. And I really enjoyed this one. Would definitely pick it up again. Next up, I have Georgia Peach. This is Sweet Peach, Orange Blossom, and Honey Suckle Nectar. This one actually wasn't that bad. I'm not the hugest fan of peach. I've been trying to branch out and... Um, try some other peach scented items but um this one honestly it wasn't that bad it smells really good those floral notes come out um the peach in this is really nice and I did enjoy it I will say I found um with these bath and body works foaming hand soaps people have talked about it for so long about how bad they dry your hands out and I will say that now that we've been washing our hands on a more regular basis, <laughs> I should say. Um, I have noticed that they have started to dry my hands out just um, a little bit. So I have picked up some other soaps from another brand. It's called Raw, it's either called Raw or Raw Sugar. Anyhow, um, they have moisturizing hand soaps that you will see in some of my empties upcoming. Um, their hand soaps are a lot bigger, so they take a little bit longer to get through. But I've just found that I've been needing to balance the gentle foaming hand soap with something else. Um, I just think, you know, like I said, with everything going on and a lot of us doing a lot of extra hand washing, um, I have definitely noticed that my hands are a lot drier. So... Just putting that out there, I still love the foaming hand soap. We'll still continue to buy it just because I do prefer it. But um, yeah, I understand a little bit more now what people are talking about. Um, the next, the, the rest of this is wax. So the next one here I have is Romeo. This is from the bathing garden. I'm not sure what's in this. It was a sample I received and um, it's just kind of a chocolate scent. I thoroughly enjoy this. It is a creamy yummy chocolate scent. So I normally don't even like chocolate, but um, this is the first one that I've smelled completely on its own that I have really, really liked. I feel like this would be a good blender with like coffee or um, you could put this with some other type of bakery item and it would smell really good. The throw on this was so good. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed that one from the bathing garden. Let's see. Um, so from Sassy Girl, I think I only have one item. I got through this bag here of Hello Lover. This is Sweet Sugar King Lemon Rind followed by Hints of Shortbread. Um, I've had this scent before and lots of people have talked about it because it's extremely popular. Um, and I love it. So this is a um, very tart. It's like, I don't know how to describe it because it's it's tart, but it's not creamy. Maybe that's a good way to describe it. So it definitely smells like a sugary tart lemon with that undertone of bakery. So that undertone of that shortbread note. So it's not like the sweetest bakery scent. And it's definitely not my favorite. It's not even my favorite lemon bakery scent. But I do really like this. Um, I do think it's different and I do get why it's really popular. I think if you like tart lemon scents, um, you would really enjoy this and I would definitely repurchase that one. Next up from, is this all I have from her? Yes. Um, this is Summer Soda. This is from Wonderberry and this is Sex on the Beach, Orange Sherbet and Fizzy Soda. This one was so nice. 
definitely bright, fizzy scent, but not too fizzy. Um, yeah, it's just bright. It's um, citrusy, really um, invigorating. That's the only kind of way I can describe it, like energizing in a way. I just really enjoyed this scent. It was a good strong thrower. And um, Wonderberry is no longer um, in business, so it's not something that I could pick up again from her. But that's definitely a blend um, that was really good. Next up, do I have any more one-off ones? Yes, yeah, so I did get through one of my Wolf Wicks. I went ahead and melted Blue Cotton Candy Funnel Cake and Pie Crust. And this is in the scent Blue's Bites. Um, so I just got these in April, but um, they've been on the site for a really long time. So I thought it would be okay to melt. This one through, I would say in between like a medium and low. So it wasn't quite on par with the majority of wax that I have in my stash, but it also, I could still smell it. So I melted part of this in my bedroom. I melted part of it in a guest bedroom. The scent was actually nice. I think I'm getting kind of over the blue raspberry, the blue cotton candy, those types of scents. Um, for a long time, I really loved them, but you know, our scent preferences change a lot. And so I'm just kind of getting over that. Um, but you definitely got the pie crush. You got the funnel cake. This did not smell super sweet. Um, and again, it wasn't super strong. I probably wouldn't pick this up again. Um, I would pick up a funnel cake and pie crust scent again, but I probably wouldn't get it blended with this uh, blue cotton candy. So I did enjoy it. I just think I'm kind of over those blue kind of scents. So that's that one. Next up, I did melt some of my Jim's daughter. Um, a lot of the stuff that I bought, um, had the pour date, all of it had the pour date, and a lot of it was pretty well cured. This one, Tequila Mockingbird, I talked about how this one smelled so gross to me, but I decided to go ahead and give it a try, and no. That's all I'm going to say about that. It still smelled like Italian food. I put three pieces. I kind of spread it out on my area and ended up turning all of them off before it could even begin to melt. So this was going to be an extremely strong thrower if I would have let it melt all the way. This is not my kind of scent. Very savory. Very not me. I don't know what I was thinking. Next up, the Eternity Treat. This is Donut Shop and Toasted Marshmallow. So I did go ahead and melt this one. This one was nice. And to be honest, this one is one which is, doesn't always happen often. But this was one that got stronger as it warmed longer, if that makes sense. So a lot of times when you melt scents, it'll be super strong initially and then kind of die off. This was one of those that I felt like got stronger as it continued to melt. This still doesn't have any extreme... Um, longevity. I melted it for probably about six hours and turned off the warmer and was able to dump it because I couldn't really smell it anymore. Um, while it was melting, I did probably get like a medium throw, so nothing extreme. I do think if it was in a bigger space, I probably wouldn't have been able to smell it, which is, which is not... Um, that's really not normal for a bakery scents. And for me personally, I love my bakery scents to really knock me out. Um, I don't love for all my scents to do that. But bakery, I really want to smell it. I really want to get that, you know, that good bakery scent. So this would probably not be a repurchase just because this is a pretty basic blend that I f could get from any other vendor and probably get a stronger throw. This one, on the other hand, Rachel and Monica, which is berries, guava, pomegranate, and vanilla, was so amazing and good. So this was a very much fruity scent with a creamy vanilla note. Smells so good. Smells like a fruity drink. The throw on this was so good. I still wouldn't consider this like a powerhouse um, throw, but it was definitely more than medium, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I would definitely repurchase this. If you like fruity blends, I think you would like that one. That is it for that. I do have one from Wax Incredibles. This is Tiffany is the Bomb. This is Cupcake at Tiffany's and Buttercream Bomb. This smelled so good. I love Wax Incredibles. I love her Cupcake at Tiffany's. The Buttercream just amped it up. It really didn't do anything to the blend to make it smell differently. It just kind of amped up that sweetness in it. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. Would repurchase. 
I have one from my D stash that I melted for most girls. This is pistachio, butter brickle, and baked zucchini bread. This was so amazing, you guys. I thoroughly enjoyed this. This was a crazy, insane thrower through all day, through super strong. And this blend was just good. It was so good. So you could get the butter brickle. You could get the bakery zucchini bread aspect of this. And the pistachio was so good in this. I love it. Um, This is really inspired me to venture out and try some more pistachio blends and it's also inspired me to try some rose girl uh blends in general i really enjoyed that one so would pick that up again and then lastly from rainbow melts i have ice ginger ale this was just cold fizzy ginger ale this is just a definite pure ginger ale scent with a super super bubbly bubbly fizzy aspect to it like intense Almost burn your nose hairs. I did enjoy it, but I don't think I would get this scent again. I do like ginger ale, but I think this one is just too um, effervescent and bubbly for me. Crazy strong thrower as most rainbow melts is. And um, I did like it, but wouldn't pick that up again. But if you like a true fizzy ginger ale, you would really like this. And then this last one I have from rainbow melts is... Uh, strawberry Biolage. This is Fresh Pick Strawberries and Biolage Shampoo. I honestly didn't expect to like this as much as I did. Like, I have considered, she has customs going on right now, and I have considered going on and ordering this in a custom. That's how much I enjoyed this. This was a crazy powerhouse thrower. It threw for like three days in my house, and I still had to cut it off and could still smell it. So good. And it smells like a strawberry shampoo. I mean, I want shampoo that smells like this. I want body care that smells like this. It's so good. I honestly think I'm going to order it. Not kidding. So, <laughs> Strawberry Biolage. If you like Rainbow Melt's uh, strawberry, that fresh picked strawberry, and you know what Biolage smells like and enjoy that, you should definitely try this. It's so good. I love it. So that is everything I got through for this past week that I actually finished. Again, I've gone back to work, so my next empties video won't be till the end of the month. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.